Hi everybody, I'm Jack, and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Hope your week's going well. Uh, halfway home, it's hump day today. And today I wanna to talk about men's health, the raw food diet, erectile disorder, and heart disease. Um, wanted to just tell you what I'm talking about right off the bat. I'm doing a little uh, YouTube 101, and that's what they tell you on there, is they say, go ahead and tell people what you're gonna talk about, because you get their attention right off the bat. And some people, they don't have time to waste. They want to get right to the point. So anyhow, I do videos every day. I do videos on uh, the raw vegan lifestyle, on health in general, plant-based diet, a little bit of fitness. Uh, so if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate if you'd hit that subscribe button now, then click on the little bell and check send notifications so you will stay subscribed to the channel. Man, I'm having a great week. Had a good, good, good day in Pensacola yesterday. Had some really good news on my tie-dye shirts. Um, looks like I'm not going to be doing my own tie-dye. I can't afford to do it when I can get a price like I was getting from them. But um, anyhow, let's jump right into this. This is a, I hope this is a subject uh, when I said men's health that uh, women did not tune in because most of a lot, of a lot of people that watch out there, I've heard them mention they have husbands, you know, they have partners, they have boyfriends. So Sometimes this could be as relevant and maybe even more frustrating to the women than it is to the men. Um, one thing uh, about this is there's no shame in it. You just need to do something about it if you have it or if you're a female and maybe you have a man in your life that's dealing with this. We tend to, there's ten, there tend to be certain health issues with certain areas of our body that uh, people get more embarrassed about, more, you know, ooh, we don't, let's don't talk about this, let's be ashamed of this or whatever. But, you know, we shouldn't think about that on anything. Our health is our health. Everything in the body, you know, kind of uh, works together. So, you know, don't get so much uh, shame, embarrassment going. Just fix it. Fix it. It's not really all that difficult, I don't think. Now, what I'm gonna talk about today is outside the parameter of, say, having some sort of an injury. Some sort of an injury that causes erectile dysfunction. Um, but that's pretty much it, because all the other causes and whatever, I think once I get into this, you're going to see um, that it's kind of all related, and it could all be, it all goes back to that whole model of disease. You know, everything come, springs forth from, from one disease pretty much. It's just a, there's one root cause in the body which causes so much disease. Um, there's five factors that are, uh, or there's five type diseases that commonly cause ED. Now, the number one, like a lot, of, a lot of times people want to argue this, like it's not directly, like is it directly correlated to heart disease? Do you absolutely have heart disease if you have ED as a man or no? Well, no, I don't say anything's absolute, but I would say that is a very strong concern. And I'll tell you what, if I was popping that little blue pill um, every day or every time I needed help to, you know, take care of business, I probably would be worrying about a little bit more than just uh, the sexual aspect of my life. I would probably be, you know, looking very seriously into my heart health. Like I said, there's other causes, but, um, you know, it's like basically what is an erection? You know, what is an erection? It's blood flow. It's plain and simple blood flow. Whether that blood is flowing downstairs to the penis or whether it's flowing to the heart, it's going through the same, um, you know, blood vessels. So heart health and uh, penis health are all about blood flow. And okay, the number one, the number one disease I told you there's uh, five, five diseases that commonly cause ED is vascular disease, and that's diseases by definition that affect the blood vessels. Um, arth arthrosclerosis, which is hardening of the arteries, hypertension, which is high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. So right there, right there, wouldn't that tell you that um, probably a raw food diet would be a great help, you know, for someone that has experienced erectile dysfunction? You know, I'm using raw food diet for the purposes of this video, mainly because I have a lot of people that are more interested in the raw food diet. I do a raw food diet. But I'd have to go out on a limb here and say that to a large, large, large extent, you could also prevent, reverse, help uh, this condition just simply by a clean, low-fat, plant-based diet with a lot of whole plant, plant foods uh, in there. 
Um, because yeah, it's just, it's, it's blood flow. Come on, right there. Uh, hardening of the arteries, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. Now, how many people do you know, ladies out there even too, that, that actually can have those conditions? How many of you have reversed those, those conditions, or do you know people that have reversed those conditions? So if you can reverse that, doesn't it just go to reason that with um, you may, a change of diet, a change of lifestyle, you could potentially uh, treat and reverse your um, erectile dysfunction as well. Now, when I say treat, I don't try to get into any medical stuff. This is just kind of all, you know, thoughts. But, you know, our food directly affects, you know, our health. I think everybody will agree on that. I'm not telling you don't do, that, don't do this or don't get medical help or medical advice on it. I'm just saying there's probably something you can do in, in accordance with doing that. Um, the second, the second major disease which causes erectile dysfunction is diabetes. And what have we learned about that? Oh, well, first going back to uh, heart, the, the vascular disease and the heart health. Um, you know, if you need to, if you need to know any more about that and, and to understand that, just prevent, uh, Dr. Caldwell Esselstyn's prevent and reverse heart disease. I would pretty much say that book could be prevent and reverse heart disease and erectile dysfunction because probably, you know, a good number of the people, even if it wasn't heart disease, if they were following the recommendations in that book, I would say chances are very slim outside of an injury of some sort and outside of exceptions that a man is going to suffer from erectile dysfunction. Second one being diabetes, and we all know um, you know, there's also a book by, is it Dr. Neil Bernard, um, reversing diabetes out there. And I think Dr. Gabriel Cousins does some work on reversing diabetes and everybody out there, if you've, uh, you know, if you've, uh, been in this raw vegan community, or if you've, if you watch videos on a plant-based lifestyle and you hear testimonials, you hear stories, I'm sure you've heard of a number of people that have, uh, reversed, uh, diabetes, gotten off their meds, um, their numbers have, uh, improved uh, immensely. So um, disease number two, which is easily uh, treated by or, or easily treated. I, I, I'm not real comfortable using those words because I don't like to get into medical stuff and stuff that gets people all wigged out, whatever. But like I say, whatever your uh, philosophy is on health, health care, you can always help yourself by what you're putting into your body, what you're eating. Um, uh, the other diseases that cause that are the, the two that I just mentioned, kidney disease, which to a large extent, a lot of times, kidney disease is a result of diabetes. Uh, kidney disease is a result. A lot of people suffer from kidney disease um, that are heavy meat eaters, meat, that all that protein, all that protein having to be filtered through the kidneys. And I'm not trying to get into Mr. Science territory here. You guys know I'm not good on that. So you know, I'm just kind of giving you a big picture. Any of this stuff I'm talking about, you might want to uh, clarify it yourself with somebody that can uh, speak a little bit better on the subject. But um, kidney disease, neurological disease, such as MS, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and spinal cord injury. Now, these are, this is a little bit mur murkier subject, a little bit murkier area in the disease thing, but um, there are a lot of people I've seen. I mean, I'm seeing recently people that have reversed their symptoms. I don't know if I'd like to say remission or cure, but they've reversed a lot of their symptoms, if not all of their symptoms of multiple sclerosis. Um, I'm, I'm reading a lot of research about uh, how this plant-based diet uh, can actually uh, prevent um, or prevent Alzheimer's or lower our risk of having Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. I haven't seen a lot on that, but I mean, I, I don't know. I guess it stands to reason that there could possibly be some, you know, positive effects on that as well. I just don't know that much about Parkinson's. Um, and then the last uh, disease is prostate cancer. So every single one of these things I've talked about that, that are potential causes for erectile dysfunction all can, we can, probably are preventable and we probably greatly 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 increase our chances of not having to deal with any of these five diseases in turn not having to deal with erectile dysfunction um, simply by eating a plant-based diet even better eating raw foods because when we're eating raw foods we're eating real food we're not eating the processed we're not eating the package we're getting the best of the best 
Um, you know, there's no hidden ingredients in there. We know we're not eating uh, too much fat. We know we're not getting hidden sodium and hidden chemicals in there. Uh, so, you know, with most things, so many things, and it doesn't have to be, I don't try to get into the controversial. It's not so much I'm afraid of controversy. I just want people to think and not be polarized. Um, whether you believe, whatever your beliefs are about health, healing, medicine, whatever, I think anybody, anybody in, with intelligence would agree that you, you know, whether you're going to see an MD, whether you're treating it by uh, traditional methods or, or whatever, that you can always assist yourself by what you're putting into your body or what you're not putting into your body, uh, more importantly. So, uh, just something to think about out there, just something to think about, those proud, masculine, I eat meat all the time guys, you know, they may be, there may be a story, there may be a story once they get uh, behind closed doors. And there'll be exceptions out there, and you know, depending on who was to watch the video, there'll be somebody crawling out of the woodwork that tells you they eat meat three times a day, drink whiskey, smoke cigarettes, do this and that, and get stiff as a rock on command. Well, you're a bull, I salute you. But for most, most people, um, you know, animal products, animal products are clogging up this, which clogs up that blood flow and makes it um, just a lot tougher to perform in the bedroom, man. So just something to think about, just something to think about if you're having a little trouble in that area and you care to maybe correct that. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you, you know, if you know men out there that might benefit from some of this knowledge, please share this video. Um, I will see you guys again tomorrow. Peace.